Welcome to the Alien RDWC system setup video. Follow this step-by-step -step guide to complete the installation of your system. No tools are required to set up your system, however, you may find a tape measure handy to cut your pipe to the correct length. A pair of pipe cutters are included in your kit. Use the lubricants provided when inserting the barbed fittings into the grommets. This will make it easier to insert the fitting. First, insert a grommet into each of the holes in the pots by pulling it through from the inside of the pot to ensure it is all the way in. Take the L connectors and insert them into two of the pots using some lubricant on the inside of the grommets. If you have the 20 litre system, you will use elbows. Space the pots at the required distance, then place the reducing T connector between them. Take a measurement, then cut some pipe and join. Place the length of pipe in some hot water to make them more pliable. Now fit some straight connectors to the rest of the pots. Place your pots where you want them and measure the distance between the fittings as shown. Cut and fit the pipe. The lower pipe will be longer than the upper pipe on the XL system. Place the header pot where you want it. It can be placed outside of the grow room if required. Connect it to the pots using some more 32mm pipe and fittings. Here are some examples of configurations. Place your air pump in the required location, preferably outside of the grow room, allowing cooler air to be pumped to your plant's roots. The air pump should be on 24 hours a day. Raise the air pump to the height of the pots if possible, as this will stop the water siphoning back into the pump in the event of a power cut or the pump being switched off. Run a length of the 16mm pipe between the pots. Connect one end to the air pump and fit a 16mm blank to the other end. Then cut the pipe and fit the airline connectors, one for every two pots. The header pot uses the single airline connector shown here. Cut and fit the green airline and place an air stone in each pot. There is a hole at the top of each pot for this. Now let's fit the water return pipe. Cut a length of 19mm pipe and connect the barbed fitting on the header pot to the reducing T. Again, warming the ends of the pipe will make fitting easier. If you have a 20 litre system, you will use 16mm pipe. Now let's assemble the water tank. First, take the tap fitting and remove the nut and one washer, leaving a washer remaining. Put the thread through the hole at the bottom of the tank, with the red tap at a 9 o'clock position. Fit the nut and washer to the thread on the inside and tighten by hand. Then turn the tap fitting to a 12 o'clock position. Now insert the legs into the sleeves on the side of the tank. If possible, raise the tank to the height of the header pot. This will ensure all of the nutrient solution in the tank is used. Connect the tap fitting to the float valve on the header pot with a piece of 60mm pipe. Place the lids on the pots and put the net pots in the holes. The system is now complete and ready to use. Please watch the system operation video which covers filling, using the system for the first time and shows how to connect a water chiller to the system. Thanks for watching and please visit our website or give us a call for advice on choosing the right system for your grow room.